Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to High Media TV. I'm your host, Evan, from High Media TV, and welcome back to Nerd News. All right. Today, our top story is uh, some more updates on Assassin's Creed Shadows. But first, our headlines for the day. Unity launches Unity 6 game development engine with native Windows on ARM support, updated Senti's AI library, and improved graphics performance. Epic Games also launches a new Fab marketplace, and the Malaysian government invests $4.64 million to boost national esports talent. And on to our main story of the day. If you want to see great uh, other stories we covered today in greater detail, uh, you can check those out on our YouTube Shorts feed, and if you want to read the articles yourself, the article archive is available to our for as low, low cost of a Twitch Prime sub or $3 on any support platform we support. On to our main story. Assassin's Creed Shadows Collector Edition changing due to delay. The reduced price offering no longer includes early access. It's now set to arrive next year on the 14th of February, following a dramatic postponement by publisher Ubisoft. Pre-orders for the game were canceled, and plans to offer a season pass have been scrubbed. A move that directly impacts the collector's edition was set to include it within its package. Writing on the official Assassin's Creed Discord, Ubisoft said that the Assassin's Creed Shadow Collector's Edition will now be cheaper as a result of the season pass no longer being included. The on console will cost... Uh, $230, Jesus fucking Christ, around $50 cheaper, while on PC it'll cost the same amount of $230. The collector's edition will know that, that, I'm just going to be honest, this was just done for word count, I swear to God. The collector's edition will no longer provide three days of early access, instead of the official will officially launch and unlock on the game's main release date, as for packages other gubbins, which include a character statue, steelbook arcade, blah 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 blah. They will remain mostly remain as initially advertised. Some design elements may change, perhaps a reference to any alterations made in the game's art book, which features some historical inaccuracies in the behind the scenes content of art. Ubisoft is now offering Assassin's Creed Shadows first expansion free to all players, provided they pre order the game. Pre order customers will also get a bonus quest at the game's launch. So here's the thing, right? Like, I'm not one of those people that says, you know, Assassin's Creed is like a woke game, like, like just like incel-y Nazi shit, like stupid people like that. But what I will say is, is, is that Assassin's Creed is suffering from wider issues at Ubisoft. Ubisoft is very much like, and I've talked about this before at length when discussing Shadows before, before, but for the uninitiated. Assassin's Creed Shadows is suffering from the Ubisoftification. It is a formula that worked when they did it with Assassin's Creed 2 and Far Cry 3, and they basically realized, oh, this is a formula that we can make our developers do that prints money, and then every single game they put out is kind of like a sloppy open-world mess. It's slop. It's, it's sloppy. And unfortunately, um, you know, despite any all the cool gameplay changes I've seen within Assassin's Creed Shadows, one of the things that I I can say with a certain degree of confidence is, is that I think Assassin's Creed Shadow is going to just be another serviceable Assassin's Creed game. You know, I think they're kind of banking on this game, kind of like saving them in the end. But I, I mean, the fact that Ubisoft is, as we've covered before on the show, you know considering a 10 cent buyout things of that nature like i the company is very much not in a good spot and it's primarily because they went they, they've long since let's rested on their laurels and are now like growing fat and complacent and really not endeavoring to do anything new ubisoft just makes generically okay games i can't remember the last time i was explicitly excited for an ubisoft game and that ultimately is a consequence of their stagnant design. This is the same could be said about Bethesda, although I will say I do personally enjoy the physics engine of the um, creation engine, as well as you know the storytelling choices um, and worlds that Bethesda makes. But even even with their dated design decisions, you know the games that they they don't. I I, I sometimes wonder if Ubisoft decided, hey, let's spend you know, a few years trying to make, to perfect this stuff instead of cranking out some slop every year. That's all I'm saying. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to, you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and
be a part of it, you can do so at himedia.gg slash discord. Discord link's there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at himedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.